Hello friends, welcome back. We've reached the halfway point of season 11. We're ranked 73rd in Platinum 3. Today we're taking on B-R-K-I-L, the killers. Okay, so we're going in today with uh, Void and Namor and Symbiote Supreme. I don't think I'll need Sim Supreme, but I'm tagging him along anyway. Let's get right to it. First up we have a Quake on Long Distance Relationship and Tyranny. And my alliance mate was kind enough to remove the mighty charge node, which would have made this fight much, much harder. So the name of the game with Quake is to be on the top of your parry game, uh, because you want to avoid missing a parry, in which case she will almost always immediately charge a heavy. You'll get an aftershock, which will be, you know, a single aftershock is quote-unquote 10% chance to stun you. Um... In my experience, it almost always feels like more than that, but you never know. Um, so my s more detailed strategy here is to do four hit combos, back off, um, and then prep for another parry. Give myself as much space as I can to react. Um, she has a really weird first medium um, where the hit event is kind of like a split-second delay. Um, so I find it sometimes that, that it's, it's inconsistent at best to parry her. And I've done a pretty good job this fight um, of getting all my parries. Ended up with a yellow bar thanks to long distance relationship, and down she goes. Alright, moving right along. We have a King Groot on uh, similar nodes, and the buffet link uh, was left up, which makes this fight much easier for me. Um, so remember, King Groot shrugs off uh, debuffs with when he has one or more Fury buffs up. So you want to try and avoid um, putting your debuffs on him when he has his Fury up, because he'll just eat them, and then you'll have wasted a special one. Um, if I memory serves, this King Groot was being very stingy with his special one. Um, I think I ended up baiting him for quite a while here, trying to get him to throw that, that special one. Uh, it's been a good 15-20 seconds now, and I didn't want to push him over his special 2, so I pretty much was out of blocked hits there. He's right on the cusp of a special 2, finally unloads it, and I can go back in and punish, and I can get another S1 off before his Furies come back up. So at this point, um, I still only have one Petrify up, so I can't really kill him outright with the Buffet. Um, he's still taking uh, decreased damage. I'm sorry, de he has decreased regeneration from the buffet. Um, and there he goes. Mid-special, he goes down, so... Buffet, always good to leave up when you're using a void, for sure. Alright, we get some mini-boss action today. This is the left side mini-boss, who has uh, Aggression Fury, I think, and Optimist or Pessimist. I always forget which one is which. Um, so on the right side mini-boss, you want to pretty much spam heavies because of Explosive Personality and Aggression Armor. Aggression Fury, uh, you can pretty much play this fight normally with Void. Um, you know, you'll see Iron Man on this node frequently because you're going to have to take a lot of block damage from him. Uh, since you can't punish either of his specials, you basically have to uh, let him come in and hit into your block a few times um, to beta heavy, um, or you have to be 100% uh, an intercepting master. Uh, and I am definitely not there, so I prefer to just take a few blocked hits, bait the heavy attack, or uh, punish him after he does his second medium. Now this Iron Man, of course, is undupe, so I don't have to worry about um, the power gain, nor do I have to worry about the auto block at one armor at the end of the fight either, uh, which is good. Other than that, it's a pretty typical Iron Man fight. Um, just lay on the debuffs, punish the heavy when you can. Um, always got to keep one eye on his armor up passives when you're playing a, a no normal style that's not just heavy countering. Um, you don't want to be caught in an auto block situation where he will parry you um, and then just lay into you. And if you're super unlucky, he'll then nail you with a special and you'll get shocked to death. So. We are approaching the end here, so all right. So he's got the increased power gain. Um, I think that's the pessimist or optimist node again. I can't ever remember which one is which, but um, it almost never impacts the actual fight in any way. I had uh, two fear of the voids up briefly there, so I got uh, at least one combo in of 
um, like double or triple attack, and down he goes. All right, moving up to uh, tier two now. We have a Nick Fury on recovery, vigor, and dominable. So we're gonna do uh, a couple of uh, small boosts for this and the next two fights on my path. This was late at night, and uh, we usually like to try and finish our section uh, before we all pass out from exhaustion. So, so the way to uh, the key to fighting Nick Fury is twofold. One is parry him, and then you can remove some of those uh, whatever charges, I forget what they're called. The other is to use a mutant. Um, so the difference between a mutant and another champ is that mutants only have a 25% chance per hit to give him one of those tactical charges, that's what they're called. Whereas any other class has a 100% chance. So uh, only one in four hits will give him those charges. This will decrease the time it will take for him to become unblockable. Uh, and if you've played a Nick Fury fight in war, when he's unblockable and he hits you with that special wand, there's just I don't even think it's possible to fully evade that um, without somebody like Daredevil or <laughs> something. So uh, this appears to be only a 455. Um, so the Vigor node kicked in. I'm trying to bait out his special two. I got lucky this. Um, I think I got lucky this fight, and he didn't end up throwing his special one at all. Um, and the way I'm kind of preventing him from doing that is when I'm finishing a combo where uh, he's going to be over one bar of power but not two, I'm immediately holding block. And nine times out of ten, uh, the AI will come in um, and attack you with basic attacks rather than throw a special. It's not guaranteed, uh, but it's pretty close. All right, so I've got uh, three bars of power, and I'm close to Imperious Rex here. Uh, he's got the LMD destroyed, so you saw he healed up back to full, but he is going to be degenerating uh, pretty quickly. I don't think this is a very high sig, Nick. Um, so lay in the uh, SP3, get the Fury up, I'm trying to get the uh, Imperious Rex. I do, I get a special two off, and down he goes. Killing people with that S2 is very satisfying. All right, next up we have a The Champion on Recovery Buffet Indomitable. Um, now I am going to use Void for this just because Void is incredible for all healing fights. Um, the Champion is not immune to Petrovi when he's on uh, non-boss nodes, so I don't have to worry about that. However, since Void is one of the quote-unquote champions of the universe, I do have to kind of keep an eye out for um, the Primal Fury text that will show up on the right-hand side. And you usually get a, a couple tenths of a second warning when that text shows up to immediately stop your attack uh, or back off. Um, because if you're caught in the middle there, um, when he goes unstoppable, you're going to have a bad time. Um, the other way to counter, uh, not really counter, but you can you can use a special and special intercept when he's unstoppable. Um, this champion is also stunnable, so it's kind of much easier to play around, and he's not a very high rank, so really goes down without an issue. Um, pretty simple fight. All right, last up for me for this war is a domino on buffet and best defense and empowered immunity. Um, so with best defense, she's going to have increased chance to evade when she's lucky, um, which doesn't really matter because you don't want to hit into her uh, when she's lucky anyways. Other than that, when you're fighting domino with avoid, uh, you don't want to use your special one um, when you are unlucky and or she is lucky because there is a, a good chance for the debuff to straight up fail. Um, and even though we're not taking any critical dam uh, critical failure damage because this is an undupe domino, um, you still you know you don't want to waste your your power and fire off S ones that aren't going to do anything for you. All right, so she's got uh, I got lucky, got the two petrifies up early. Um, so now any other bonus debuffs are going to be contributing to um, some nice damage uh, from buff excuse me from buffet. A little too much carbonation this evening. Um, other than that, um, you know, it's it's trying to parry her, which sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. Um, you know, you'll you'll proc crit critical failure uh, when you parry sometimes, which is which is why she's so difficult to parry at times. Um, I try and push her over uh, two bars of power when I can. Um, she has a tendency to you know really push you further further back before she likes to throw her special two, as you kind of saw there. So you really have to mind mind your location when you play this fight, really against, uh, with, with any anybody against Domino. So. 
and uh, dodge that S1, and she goes down. And that is it for my contributions to the war. I had planned to uh, take Boss Island in the morning, but I woke up, and uh, my awesome teammates had killed everything. It was it was pretty awesome. So shout out to those guys. Nice work. Saved me probably some some additional potions if that. So, and we did go on as you can see to win this fight. This is one of the closest wars uh, we've had in quite some time. Um, I think we ended up winning by only like 200 points, which comes down to what one or two attack bonuses, I think. So, um, you know, shout out to uh, BRKIL. Uh, you guys were some great opponents, and uh, I hope we can meet again sometime later this season. So uh, until then, thank you for watching.